Hello friends, in the previous two videos what we learnt about DMA was first of all its basic notion and then how a DMA actually works in various steps while transferring the data, providing the data to the CPU and how it helps in isolating the CPU from various processes which actually do not require the processing of CPU, right? So now in this particular session what we are going to learn is that how the DM actually works in various modes while performing that transfer and data collection, right? So now in uh, first of all, we are going to classify the data transfers in two types. The data transfer that occurs while that processing, while that entire process can actually be categorized in two types. The first is the data transfer that occurs between the device controller and the DMA. So there can be multiple device controllers, but if I just take one device controller for an instance, then the data transfer between a device controller and DMA, that can be uh, one of the data transfers that occurs and then the next is the between DMA and the CPU right so there are two basic data transfers that occur now since there is a single system bus which is shared between CPU and the DMA so both CPU and DMA uh, compete to get the access of those C uh, system buses right so to handle this the following three data transfer modes are used so the first mode is burst mode right the first mode is burst mode so what happens in the burst mode is total system buses are under the control of DMA and uh, till the till the completion of data collection process. So all uh, all the system buses, so all the system buses are under the control of DMA till the uh, entire data collection process completes. And during this period, what happens is CPU goes to waiting state. So CPU just is just idle. Till the entire this process completes so this mode is favorable to the DMA for sure but uh, what we can say is about CPU is a lot of CPU time is wasted because for the entire time period it is just in idle state and sitting idle so that means it is not allowed to do any processing in that time interval therefore a lot of uh, you can say performance is degraded in that case. Next comes the cycle stealing mode. Now what happens in the cycle stealing mode is that uh, system buses are under the control of DMA only during the transfer of one byte from device controller to the DMA. So during the transfer of one byte from the device controller to the DMA as we discussed that what happens is first of all the CPU goes to DMA uh, in order to request for a particular device and then DMA actually collects the entire data from the device uh, uh, device you can say device controller obviously and then after the entire set of data is collected byte by byte then uh, the entire data is sent to the CPU. So this is that data transfer mode only and it says that they are under the control of DMA only during the transfer between that DMA and that device controller. So between two consecutive byte transfers that is between the device controller and DMA, CPU steals the system buses for some moment to transfer the collected data from the DMA or to perform execution of another task. So this should be very clear now what, what is happening over here is DMA is collecting collecting that data in parts and what is CPU doing? CPU is stealing that data. It is stealing that data, the partial data collected at the DMA uh, in between of that byte transfers. Like what is happening is, uh, let's suppose device controllers just sent the first, it transferred the first byte to the DMA, right? Then let's say it is processing the next byte. So while the de uh, device controller is processing the next byte, what is happening is CPU is stealing the system buses for that particular moment and transferring the partial data that has been placed at the DMA to itself or it is processing some other task. So this is what is cycle stealing mode and this method is favorable to CPU. Once the system buses are stolen by the CPU, DMA controller comes into waiting state and keeps checking for buses. So this is how it works. Fine. So now the most important is the block transfer mode which is a hybrid of both. So block transfer mode, it is the hybrid of both burst mode and cycle stealing mode. 
so what is happening in this case is data are divided into fixed size blocks that is a block may have some bytes of data when the dma receives an input output request from the cpu it will forward the request to the device controller the device controller prepares the block of data and transfers it to the dma block by block so notice the difference over here the difference is now the dm uh, device controller is transferring the data block by block and not byte by byte right so all system buses are under the control of dma while transferring one block data from the device controller to the dma but between two consecutive blocks, block transfers again cpu steals the system buses to perform other tasks so uh, there are one or two important notes over here first is within the block of data within the block of data that is uh, while the uh, you can say device controller is preparing that block this method behaves like a burst mode fine so between two consecutive block transfers this method behaves like a cycle stealing mode as we just discussed and so if we move into a bit more of details what we can say is during data collection dma does not need any system buses right because the data is just being collected between the device controller and the device so cpu can use the system buses cpu can use the system buses over there then during data transfer to dma while the data is being transferred from the device controller to the dma system buses are used by dma controller and cpu will be idle so this is all the main uh, you can say modes and how the dma basically works while transferring the entire set of data and isolating the cpu to perform some other tasks so that's all for this session hope you like the session in case you did please like it by clicking the thumbs up button below and keep subscribe for more good work coming up in the next session we will be dealing with one of the numericals one very important numerical uh, in the same context of dma so thanks thank you all for this particular session